Galatians 6, 7 says, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man will reap what he sows. You know, it's easy for us to look around at the world today and to think, wow, everybody gets away with everything. That the wicked prosper. That it doesn't seem like there's any consequence. But I want to remind you that it's God's patience that leads us to repentance. It's His kindness, His love and mercy and gentleness. But mind you me, God is not mocked. And one day we will all stand before God. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord to the praise of the Heavenly Father. Oh yes, and God will give us what we deserve. To the unbelieving, eternal punishment. To the believers, we will be rewarded for how we've lived our life. Will what we have lived our life for burn up in judgment? Or will there be eternal reward for what we dedicate our lives to? Yes, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. A man will reap what he sows. And yet at the other end of that, you have the mercy and compassion of God patiently waiting for those who would come to him in repentance. <clears throat> There's been so many times in my life where God should have gave me what I deserve, where I should have been ruined, destroyed, because of my disobedience, my lack of reverence towards a holy God. But he was patient with me, loving, kind, Instead of destroying me, he restored me. And I praise God for his mercy. But I also understand that God is not mocked. Judgment will come. The wicked will only prosper for a time. That's why it says that don't you know that God is patient with you, not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance so that they may be saved. This time on earth is short, but eternity is forever. God understands that we are nothing before him but dust. What is man that he is mindful of us? We walk around proud and arrogant, as if we have control over anything. We ignore God. We do not fear God. We do not honor God. We do not love God, and yet there he is, patient with us, patiently enduring our foolishness, knowing that some will come to repentance. But the day's coming, my friends. Judgment is coming, and judgment in many ways is already here, because God is not mocked. 